But Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium, and having persuaded the people, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and entered the city, and on the next day he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they believed. Oh, such is the passage of time to fast to fall. Suddenly is followed by signs, no end behold. Okay, so today we're continuing on in the narrative of the Acts of the Apostles. Um, yesterday, uh, Paul was, was thrown out of Iconium. Uh, today, he travels into Lister, Lystra and Derby. Um, and uh, bad things continue to happen. Uh, some of the, uh, his adversaries, Jew Jewish adversaries, come up from Antioch uh, and join together with others. They take him outside the city and stone him until they think he is dead. Uh, so. Paul's there for a second. They stone him till they think he is dead. Um, so he is uh, beaten and bloodied to, to, to a pulp. Uh, it's only when the uh, disciples and other believers uh, come up and gather around Paul that, that, that he gets up and he continues on his way. Um, so a lot of stuff going on this morning, but I, I want to stop uh, and appreciate Paul for just, for just a moment. Um, now, uh, there are many reasons I dearly love, uh, appreciate, and admire St. Paul. Uh, one of those, uh, I guess uh, kind of selfishly, is, is Paul is a lover of sport. Uh, many, in many of his writings, his epistles, uh, you will find references to uh, Olympic sports, things like uh, marathon running and sprinting and uh, things like that. You'll also find references to, to boxing and wrestling and other things like that. So I, I can only imagine that, that Paul, uh, now with the invention of, of soccer and bicycling, uh, is, is a huge fan of those as well. I think Paul found in those a uh, triumph of the human spirit. I think Paul found in sport uh, overcoming adversity, um, of, of going past the point you're able to go uh, he found in their perseverance and and all kind of wonderful things about the human spirit and soul. Um, so here uh, we see Paul tested. Um, and one one of the things that uh, I always think of when when things the going gets rough is is Paul. Uh, so in Iconium uh, yesterday, remember, he he was uh, run out of the city with threats of his life. The, his adversaries had poisoned the minds of as many as they could. Uh, they sought to kill him. Today they catch him. Um, and they take him outside of the city and, and they stone him until they think he's dead. And Paul gets up uh, and what does he do? Paul does not complain, murmur, uh, speak poorly of, of those who, who sought, sought his life. He does not go and run back to his home or, or to a safe place and um, sort of lick his wounds and, and stew over things. He, he doesn't get uh, downtrodden. He doesn't uh, think he you know he's a victim and none of that what what, what Paul does he gets up uh, he, he continues on his mission uh, continues to spread the love and and the life and the grace of God uh, he continues on with singleness of mind and of heart um, and so that's a lesson for, for all of us um, I, I look at Paul's journeys and in, in his life uh, you know there's the literal uh, 
historiosity of it. And then there's sort of the metaphorical or allegorical part of it where, where we all take bumps and bruises. They're all there are days and times in our lives when we think uh, we've been beaten and bloodied unto death, stoned to death, uh, when, when, when we've been imprisoned, when we all these terrible things happen. Uh, but that's what I love about Paul. I can always think of the apostle, Paul, um, and, and find courage and strength and also find virtue, uh, humility and, and grace and charity not to, uh, not to turn a, a bitter or wrathful eye uh, towards anyone, but, but but rather get up, dust myself off, uh, rejoice in the grace and mercy and forgiveness of God Almighty, uh, and continue on in my task, find the best in, in those around me, uh, overlook the worst, uh, take insult and injury uh, with grace and with humility, uh, and keep that singleness of mind and of heart. Because uh, the world's tough. I don't know if might be just me, but I, I have a sneaking suspicion that, that more than just me uh, have difficulties, get knocked down, uh, you know, have times when, when you feel like Paul did, like when we read of him being stoned unto death um, and people thinking he's dead until everybody gathers around him and, and loves on him and nurses on him and, and, and he gets back up and goes on. Um, that, that happens to us all. Um, and, and thank goodness, thank, thank God Almighty that we have the example of Paul uh, who shows us how to handle those situations, to, to not be filled with wrath and anger and bitterness, uh, but to pray for those who, who knock us down, to, to get back up and rejoice in the grace and mercy of God, to continue on with singleness of heart uh, in forgiveness and love and in mercy and in grace. So, St. Paul, lover of sport, uh, and one of the best examples of, of toughness, spiritual, mental, and physical toughness uh, that, that we have. So for today, ponder St. Paul. Ponder uh, and think about his perseverance and determination and, and boldness and fierceness, but also his grace and mercy and, and love and singleness of heart and ability to forgive those who do him wrong. Um, if you need inspiration, look look no farther. Um, you, you know, I think it's extremely important that we have examples like that uh, because, like I said, it might just be me, but I sneak in suspicion all of us get get knocked down, and uh, we need people we can look to. And there's no better example than than, than Paul. Um, there's no better, better example of someone uh, who did get knocked down. <laughs> on the road to Damascus, um, took his licks, spent, spent the decade uh, in transformation, uh, relearning how to relate to the Almighty, uh, falling in love more deeply with Jesus every day, um, and then giving his all for our Lord um, and, and, for, and for the people of the world, God's people. So contemplate those things, uh, enjoy and appreciate St. Paul. And everybody have a, have a, have a good Wednesday. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Son.